Community members are coming together to try to make a wrong right. A plaque that marked the burial site for children who died at a Native American boarding school is gone. And the story is getting some national attention. News 13's Jamie Seymour is here with the search for answers. Kim, national publications are highlighting the incident, which comes just a week after Interior Secretary Deb Holland announced a probe into the Native American boarding schools that operated for decades. Some members of the public noticed the black was missing this week when they went to visit the site. People are uh, re-experiencing that pain um, and that trauma and then find out that it was recently removed uh, feels like an attack and it feels really it's really hard. After seeing the missing plaque, someone left behind red handprints symbolizing the silence of Native Americans. The marker was located behind the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center in Albuquerque in what is now known as 4-H Park. Dozens of children reportedly died there between 1882 and 1933. The school was designed to assimilate indig indigenous children into white society but those children say they were beaten, starved, and abused. Members of the coalition to stop violence against Native women say now is a good time for leaders to make a change, like turning it into a permanent memorial. On top of it, people are having barbecues and picnics and football practices, and it feels um, that feels like a continuation of violence that people are playing on top of the bones of our children. The plaque's removal is even getting national attention by the Washington Post as advocates push for an investigation into the site to determine just how many children are buried there. The city of Albuquerque say, says they will work with leaders from the tribes, Pueblos and others to see what steps should be taken next. The city is also urging the public to respect the significance of the site. The coalition has a healing event planned there on July 17th. They're asking those who attend to wear masks and social distance. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Jamie. Now there is now a push in America and Canada to investigate these sites. There are more than 350 of these schools in the U.S. And over the past month, 1,100 unmarked graves were found at former Native American boarding schools in Canada.